quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, waste no time, feel the pain, let the grind. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, got a new toy. I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm gonna do an unboxing. Um, no, it's not four wheelers. No, it's not um, side by sides or dirt bikes. This is uh, part of that other side of the channel that I um, said I was gonna get into. And um, so let's take a look at this. What do we have here? One eight scale Serpent Sport SRX eight E RTR. This is the new one I got. Um, I haven't looked at. Let's see what this thing has got. Just got it in the other day, and we are going to take a look. It looks pretty cool from the pictures. It's got a different layout than most of the. Um, 1-8 scale buggies out there. So, of course, you have your instructions on the car and the included radio, which is pretty basic. As you can see here, super basic. It's got all the controls on the back that you need, your throttle trim, steering trim, um, reverse and all that stuff, off and on buttons. So, Super basic there. Well, it's kind of cool how they have the brake caliper and um, rotor back there, which is kind of neat. But, um, I mean, it's your typical RTR transmitter. So, nothing special there. Some, uh, looks like some shock spacers, maybe. And some servo stuff in there. It did come with a Dean's battery adapter. Um, it ties off. We have the Beast. Oh, I mean, just first glance, this thing is <laughs> super nice. Tires are actually a softer compound than I thought they were going to be. I'm not sure how these will grip on a dusty track, which is what I will be running it on. But first glance, guys, this is a super nice, super nice buggy. I'm going to dive into this thing here and uh, see what this got under the hood. Beef Eclipse for the body. Let me pop the body off. And it's a pretty banged body, as most RTR kits come with. Uh, really nice design. Love the color. I love the orange. And it doesn't have any stickers on it, so you can put whatever stickers you want on it, which is kind of nice, so it doesn't have it plastered with the Serpent and the SRX stuff. You can kind of do what you want with that. Oops. Not many kits do that. So we have the ESC. And what's different about this kit is you have the motor and the ESC to the front of the buggy. And then they did a split battery tray, which is really, really, really nice. I like that idea. So instead of having that four cell packed on one side and all your electronics on the right side or left side or wherever the kit does it, this splits your battery packs up, which... I think would be a better balanced buggy, um, but we'll see. Um, I did have the RC8 ready to run and had a lot of issues with the diff, center diff, and some ESC issues. Um, plus, they stopped making that kit and the parts weren't readily available anymore. So I ended up getting rid of that and um, decided to move to a different buggy now this this kit was 472 dollars for everything you see here which is a really really good deal and by the looks of this thing i mean this is a sturdy buggy you have the aluminum top shock towers and the aluminum shocks all in the gold or bronze and which matches the motor which is kind of cool um this is a 2800 i believe motor kv i'm not 100 percent sure on that so don't quote me on that one 
um, you have the 1 8 scale Serpent ESC here and what they do for you because it's got the split trays they give you right built in the two Dean's plugs which is really cool they can hook them right up and you don't have to worry about the single and getting a splitter they do it for you that that's a really nice feature they you definitely were smart with this whole kit you have your receiver box here with the shorty antenna um looks like a eh, standard size box most of your receivers will probably fit in there aluminum chassis as always can't go without aluminum chassis on these big 1 8 scales nice thick plastic wing with the instead of having the clip up here it does have the allen um you have the single post body mounts some have the dual in the back single in the front and it does also include the little piece up front some of the kits um don't have that <clears throat> not a big deal just a little added touches that you know appearance wise make it look better let's see what we have for it they do have sway bars both front and rear pretty beefy same color bronze axles and drivetrain there which is nice you have your center diff a little bit further up front most of them are more center but since this has the dual tray set up they kind of push the center diff a little forward really 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 impressed with this i i was not expecting this quality for something for, that's 472 dollars I, I really wasn't um your arma stuff you see you know you can buy you can buy them anywhere from 290 dollars up to like 420 something for the ready to runs but those are not really geared for racing this is supposed to be geared to be able to go right onto the track for a beginner um and by the looks of it it's it is definitely ready for the track um it's got a lot better parts on here than the rtr team associated had now granted this is 15 years newer um so you know it's kind of hard to judge judge something that that that's old but um oh wow i can't wait to get this thing on the track now um as I stated in some in the in the previous video, that we are in the process of building a track out back for these guys. Um, it's a little smaller than I anticipated, actually a lot smaller than I anticipated. So we are in the midst of making it a lot bigger, try to get it suitable for these guys, so I could do some at least practicing out there, and maybe even um, future have some actual races. I'd like to get a lap counter and you know kind of have a nice setup out back to where we can actually have some races um yeah i mean if you guys are into the rc stuff and you're looking to get into the 1 8 scale i i highly recommend this kit um i say kit <coughs> meaning the whole setup when i say kit the actual kit in rc terms is you're supposed to put it together they usually don't come with all your electronics um and stuff like that the kits come in a box similar to this this is the associated buggy that was a kit you had to build it you had to build the um 4.1 this is an rtr so it comes pre-built um i was back and forth between this and the arma roller which has the low c um technology in it the race low c team racing um but by the time I dumped all the electronics into it and um, everything, I was way over the price of this. So I figured I would at least try this. Um, maybe it works good and I don't have to do many much upgrades to it. And I can get away with racing this. Um, but at least I can actually go out and race it the way it is. I am going to replace the um, RTR transmitter. I'm probably going to go with a Futaba setup just preference i do have a spectrum older spectrum older than this one in the garage that i probably will throw in here for the time being just because i like that setup but it is again that system is 15 years old so just kind of want to update upgrade everything so yeah guys uh just want to do a quick unboxing and see what this thing entailed because i never never messed with the serpent stuff before um 
supposed to be a really, really good company. They do have a USA racing team, so they are familiar with track and racing. It's not just a basher buggy. This is this is supposed to be a pretty big deal. So, um, yeah, if you guys are interested, go ahead and get your one because these are these are pretty nice. And for the like I said, for the money, you can't beat it. So uh, let's get this thing on the track um, and see how this thing works. So that'll be the next video I'll post is with this thing on the track hopefully and you can see how it runs i'm interested to put it up against my buddies he's still got the rc8 so kind of want to do a little comparison between the two to see how they how they run um it's been a long time since i actually drove and raced so my, my uh driving skills aren't going to be up to par and i'll probably be all over the place so it's going to be hard to really judge the actual unit by my driving skill but um at least you guys could see comparing it on the track with the two the two units so yeah guys i mean i appreciate the views um i'm going to try to start uh, this series on the channel as well with the rc car stuff so look forward to doing some of that we are also planning a trip in june back up to winrock so we will be taking the r max up to winrock and uh we having some more fun up there it's gonna be a big group this time so that should be a good uh that should be a good time good videos good content because we're gonna have six or seven side-by-sides up there um tearing it up so uh yeah appreciate the views guys hit that like hit that subscribe um especially if you want to see more videos like this and uh, we'll catch you on the the next video appreciate it